Why Red Bull is afraid of Mercedes' new plan. The return of James Allison in Mercedes sent shockwaves across the paddock in a move that might see Mercedes back into championship contention very soon. While the rest of the top teams in Ferrari and Aston Martin are worried but also focused on their own things, Red Bull is the team to beat this season, and this appointment in Brackley might become a huge issue for them. Join us as we delve deeper into the reason Red Bull is afraid of the new Mercedes plan for the upcoming race. Motorsport.com reported last Friday morning that Allison would be returning to his previous position at the team, while his successor Mike Elliott would become the team's chief technical officer. This is a significant change for the modern Mercedes squad, as they are currently struggling compared to their dominant years in F1, and the fact that they have felt the need for a major change in their technical staff and have been unable to close the gap with a competitor through their initial car design update plan, as they successfully did in 2021, makes this is a unique situation for the team. Just two weeks ago, team boss Toto Wolff had publicly stated that James Allison had not returned to directly working on the Mercedes F1 car project from his part-time role as CTO, which also involved working with the America's Cup team, established by Mercedes co-owner Ineos. Despite this, the recent reshuffle is in line with Mercedes' approach, so according to Wolff, the change was made at Elliott's urging, as he believed that with James we have a gladiator on the field, and the troops are going to go through the fire for him and with him. While there has been no official press release from Mercedes confirming the change, the news was strategically leaked to Motorsport.com, with Wolff giving an exclusive interview to discuss the development. This approach softens the impact for both Elliott and the organization as a whole. The recent reshuffle at Mercedes appears to be an attempt to preserve its highly regarded team culture while also reigniting the team's competitive spirit in F1. However, it is unclear to what extent Elliott's decision was motivated by internal pressure at Mercedes, which had been mounting due to the team's struggle to regain its dominant position in the F1 field following the 2022 rules reset and the introduction of ground effect cars. It was always a possibility that one of the leading teams would lose their place at the sharp end with the introduction of the new machines in 2021, and while Mercedes experienced a dramatic fall with their poorly performing W13 car, Red Bull managed to maintain their position and pull ahead with the lighter RB18 and its downwash approach, which has proven to be the most effective aerodynamic concept of the new era. This concept, combined with Red Bull's successful designs for critical suspension and underfloor parts, has allowed the team to dominate, and Aston Martin, which was the first team to switch to this approach, has also moved up the order as a result. By implementing evolutions of their very different zero-pod and in-wash side-podded cars at the start of 2023, Mercedes and Ferrari risked ending up in where they currently are. As a result of this, the pressure and frustration on Mercedes have doubled as they have publicly committed to a wholesale concept change which they had been contemplating for some time and must now successfully execute. Meanwhile, Ferrari has tripled its burden by apparently deciding not to commit to a concept change until 2024. The most notable aspect of Mercedes' reshuffle is Wolff's statement that the change was very much driven by Mike Elliott owning the process, with the team owning implying that Elliott reacted to the shortcomings of Mercedes' technical team under his leadership, but the team's subsequent reaction is very much in line with Mercedes' approach. But no matter how it may look from the outside, Elliott has not been let go from Mercedes, unlike the traditional approach in F1, which saw Mattia Bonotto at Ferrari and James Key at McLaren lose their positions. Instead, Elliott has been retained as a full-time CTO, indicating his value to the organization, and in his new role, Elliott will oversee how Mercedes' technical resources are utilized from an overarching organization development perspective, while Allison will focus on developing the W14 and W15 into winning cars. Additionally, Wolf's statements reveal the impact of F1's financial rule changes on Mercedes' design team, which was previously highly successful. The technical department at Mercedes has undergone significant changes since its success in F1 between 2014 and 2021, with other engineers taking on more senior management roles and Allison's predecessor leaving to join Williams in 2017. However, the team continued to win. In contrast, Aston Martin's success is partly due to their hiring of former Mercedes aero leader Eric Blandon, 
This puts pressure on Allison, who has been brought back into the role of technical director to revitalize Mercedes' fortunes. Allison originally expected to retire, but the part-time CTO role created for him by Wolf has proven to be successful. The reshuffle reflects that the previous technical director change was unsuccessful, but Allison is respected by the team and the fans, and his return restores what Mercedes had lost with the departure of James Vowles. This change in Mercedes should very well be worrying for Red Bull, even though it may take some time to see the impact of these changes. Red Bull has been dominant in the ground effect era, in part due to their skilled drivers Max Verstappen and Sergio Sergio Perez, but much credit can be attributed to their renowned CTO Adrian Newey, and he is an aerodynamics expert with 10 championship winning cars under his belt. When the ground effect era was announced, it undoubtedly put a smile on his face and solidified Red Bull's lead in the sport, the main reason being the fact that Newey basically wrote the book on ground effect. His university thesis encapsulated the subject, and there was simply no one that could challenge him on the grid. Until now, of course. However, James Allison's impressive career trajectory, beginning with designing Michael Schumacher's championship cars at Benetton and Ferrari, before moving to Renault where he helped create another championship winning car and worked with Kimi Raikkonen makes him a formidable opponent for Newey. While Allison's impact on Mercedes may take some time to show in performance, the change in management and the confidence boost it brings to the team will be noticeable in the coming months. Additionally, Lewis Hamilton's alignment with Allison's objectives and design ideologies is a significant factor in Mercedes' confidence moving forward. While it is not entirely fair to compare Newey and Allison, Mercedes restructuring under Toto Wolff's leadership and Red Bull's cost cap punishment make it clear that the two teams will continue to compete fiercely. Although the changes may not have an immediate impact in 2023, by 2024 in our opinion, there is no doubt that Red Bull will likely be feeling the pressure to keep up. Allison did not lead the technical department for the creation of the W08 during its initial design phase, but his team produced the W11 with its innovative DAS system, which restored Mercedes' dominance after a period of rule stability. Although boosted by Ferrari's withdrawal due to an engine design settlement with the FIA, the W11 is likely to be remembered as an F1 legend. However, Mercedes Return to the leadership of the technical department that brought it unprecedented success does not guarantee instant victory. Allison must lead the revamped technical structure to take on Red Bull's current dominant position following a path set by their rivals. While convergence is possible in new F1 design rules, Mercedes' team culture and Allison's succession were unexpectedly tested after producing two poor cars in a row. The outcome of this challenge will determine the evolution of a modern F1 super team. It remains to be seen whether Mercedes has peaked and cannot regain its dominance, or whether its current struggles are a temporary setback. But Allison is nearing retirement, and it's certainly possible that Mercedes may consider external hires for more stability in the long term. Mattia Bonotto could be a potential candidate, given his reputation as a highly respected technical director. However, he may not be interested in reporting to Toto Wolff or taking on a role with less autonomy than his previous position at Ferrari. James Key is also a potential candidate with extensive experience in F1, but it remains to be seen whether Mercedes will consider him for the role. Regardless of whether Mercedes chooses to hire externally, it's important for the team to have a clear succession plan for when Allison eventually retires or moves on to another role. This will help ensure that the team can continue its winning ways and maintain its position as a dominant force in the sport. What do you think? Should Red Bull really be afraid of Mercedes? Or are they so far ahead they can afford to relax a little bit? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and we will see you next time!